I'm consistently blown away by how amazingly talented the students in our district are. Please give them a round of applause. And as I begin my third year here at JC Schools, I'm consistently blown away by you, the teachers and employees who make up the backbone of our district. Last year, we, when we joined here in the gymnasium to kick off a new school year, I talked about what it would take to build a district of champions. I told you it would be hard work, that some days will be more challenging than others, but I also told you that I believe each and every one of you has what it takes to be a champion. And then I spent the school year witnessing championship moment after championship moment in our classrooms, on our sports fields, and in our gymnasiums, our stages, and in the cafeterias and hallways, in school after school across our district. In May, close to 700 students walked across the stage at graduation ready to conquer the world. And th And that is only possible because of the hard work that each one of you puts in every single day. Speaking of graduation, I am proud to share with you today that based on early projections, we anticipate our 2023 graduation rate will again be among the highest we've seen in the past 30 years. That is a huge accomplishment, and having a strong foundation for our students starting in pre-K through elementary and middle school is what makes this possible. We are working hard to make improvements to our districts, to grow the number of students achieving academically, to grow the number of students succeeding in activities, and to grow our students into champions. Last year, we again saw huge gains from our students taking advanced placement courses and exams. Not only do they take the exams, but they pass them. In 2018, 86 students passed an advanced placement exam. In 2023, I'm happy to tell you, 324 students. Another, another part of that, we said pre-K to 12. Over 90% of those students who pass an advanced placement exam went to school here from pre-K to 12. <laughs> Additionally, Nichols Career Center had 69 medalists at the district level, 27 state medalists in Skills USA and four national recognitions in collision repair, electronics, active manufacturing, and sheet metal. Where's my Nichols folks? These are just the tip of the iceberg of the many accomplishments, big and small, that you and our students achieve every day. As you start the school year, remember to pause from time to time and look around you to witness the championship moments that are occurring every day. Championship moments, like when the team at Lawson Elementary demonstrates a commitment to implementing positive behavior supports, winning multiple prestigious recognitions for their hard work. State champions in that work, Lawson Elementary. Championship moments like when our community rallies behind our school district, passing the Kids First bond issue by 68% of the vote, a bond issue that will impact the lives of students for decades. Championship moments like when the funds from those bond issues are used to purchase new interactive panels for every pre-K through 8 
grade classroom and JCAC, and our tech department who installed 543 panels Joe Martin, I know you, I guess you know who's going to get a raise now. <laughs> Championship moments like those that will occur on Monday. Our district's first ever STEM school, Thorpe Gordon STEM Academy. Their staff has invested countless hours prepping and training for the grand opening and we can't wait to open it up on Monday. Thank you. And speaking of grand openings, how about a shout out to our facilities department for getting all our buildings ready for Monday. My guy Wes Shelty, he, he must when he gets my call on cell phone, he must be like, oh god, not again. Wes, thank you for taking my call. Appreciate it. <laughs> there are champions all around us. Champions, and I mean TJ, you're gonna know this, right? You're gonna roar when I say this. Champions like Glenda Keller. <laughs> Glenda who treats her building with care every day. I went over there the other day and I'm like, man, this looks great. It's not great yet, but it will be. So thank you, Glenda. <laughs> Champions like the paraprofessionals who make sure their students are able to be successful in the classroom each and every day. Champions like our staff at Southwest Early Childhood Center who prepare their students for the first step in their education. Champions like our cafeteria staff for serving nutritious meals to our kids. Champions like our school resource officers, where are our JCPD? Thank you. Although if you've seen them of late, they look a little strange. Okay. Champions like the faces of our schools, our secretarial staff. a shout out to Aaron and Heather at Pioneer Trail. How about a shout out to Bel Air, Valerie at Bel Air. Valerie gets extra pay, she has to deal with Mr. Shaw's every day. So many champions in this room. Remember that in every moment of every day, you have the power to build champions. You're here, every one of you, for a reason. Because you have passion, compassion, energy, integrity, humor, and guts. And you channel those traits that make you a champion. And I ask you to use those traits to build champions in others. Monday morning, more than 8,500 students will pour into schools all across our district, and we will begin another year full of opportunities. Thank you for all the hard work you will put in this year, for the long days, the late nights, the early mornings, and thank you for joining me on our journey to build a district of champions. Woo